I'm here with Carlos Correa at the World Health Organization. Uh, and Carlos, can you tell us why you're here and what's happening this week? I'm attending a, a meeting, uh, an intergovernmental meeting, that is considering the recommendations of a group of experts that has worked on the ways in order to improve financing and coordination of research and development, in particular for diseases that prevail in developing countries. One of the critical recommendations of this group has been to uh, elaborate a possible convention, binding convention, in order to provide the funding and coordination for these activities. And we hope we can get uh, some preliminary consensus uh, during these uh, three days in order to continue working on this. I'm uh, now uh, working with the Argentine delegation. I usually work with the University of Buenos Aires. And we are quite interested in pushing these uh, ideas forward and trying to give a permanent solution to a problem that everybody knows is there, but so far there are no real ways of dealing with it in a systematic manner. Thank you. Uh, uh, well, how important is the delinkage concept? Well, that's very important because it's, it's not only about getting new drugs, it's not only about innovation in the pharmaceutical sector or in health technologies in general. We need innovation plus affordability. The problem we have now is that research and development is led by market interest, so it's concentrated in areas that uh, have rich markets. There's very little which is actually done in diseases that prevail in developing countries. And whatever is done, uh, in any case, should be uh, affordable to the people, to the governments, and the patients. And this is therefore a key concept, to the link the prices of medicines from the cost of research and development. So we need to work for a solution that actually makes this possible. Thank you. Before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to add? Well, just uh, I would like to add that we really need uh, support from uh, all governments, developed and developing countries, to address this issue. This is a global issue. And this is uh, something that requires uh, a political commitment to, uh, to advance. So all, all countries just uh, express this idea that they are supporting uh, these kind of solutions, but we really need to have this materialized in an instrument that uh, provides the framework in order to, uh, to make this uh, reality, so better coordination, priority setting, and uh, financing for these activities. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>